We're at Walmart now. And I'm gonna make ask him a question that's gonna go on forever. The difference between DC and Marvel. But be careful when you, you won't cover your eyes, make sure you see where you're going. Look at the car. Now tell me what's the difference between DC and, and, and Marvel? We're having a walk. Hold on, wait. Well, let's, let's, let's get a, a selfie for the boys. There you go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There you go. Let's tell the people what the difference is between DC and Marvel. See, the main difference is well, a little hard to explain, but basically, basically the main difference is one is a little more consistent ish with the movies. Basically, how Marvel does it, it just is use some, it's just use the Avengers for a little while, then use some other characters. Marvel has to earn the trust. So basically, so basically, side movies and more gets them excited, or just like, hooray, or something. Walmart, look, look, Walmart, at the, look, look at the, the those thing. girls. Are, those girls are gonna hit you for cookies now. They're gonna work you for cookies now. Well, well we on the way out, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> this, this, this one, this one, this one. Get a car. Yeah, like he wouldn't like that. Yeah. So where, where, where were we? Basically, DC has been doing that. Whatever. And also, the branding. Because... What is it? Where are you at? Because right now, when it comes to branding or toys or anything like that, DC yeah. has been failing at that too. Yeah? Yes. Mainly, the big competitor well, mainly the big thing is Legos. Basically, what it comes to basically, Legos, huh? it used to be like a whole bunch of superheroes and more. 